Welcome to Mango Bay. Uh, today we're answering some white guy questions from Joe, uh, talking about wrestling, a lot of other fun stuff behind the Patreon. It gets really interesting. Uh, come on in. Mango Bay, Mango Bay. Uh, uh, Mango Bay. Mango Bay. Mango Bay. Mango Bay. For the exclusive content, don't forget to join our Patreon at patreon.com slash mango bay. Mango, 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 mango bay. Welcome, Welcome to, mango to Mango Bay. bay. Welcome. One stop shop for South Asian recklessness. We are two best boys, Usama Siddiqui. Pranav Bihari. Hello. Two comedians in the New York scene. We're hanging out. We're doing brown stories, goofs. Who done it? I'm gonna. That's gonna be part of the new uh, official. <laughs> it's not who done it. I don't know. I like it. <laughs> the who what's it? The who the who's and what's the what you might call it? The craziness, the goofs. You already know the goofs. Uh, we keep it wild the out doodads. here. Do uh, It is patreoncom slash time. Get on that. Yeah, you gotta get. If on If you know that. what's good for you, we you got, gotta get on that. What are you waiting for? Actually, it's fun. It's it gets fun. way spicier behind that page. Yeah, we start getting in. It's worth it, and it's not that expensive. It's 30, 30 U.S. cents a day. That's nothing. Two brown orphans. Come on. Okay. No one parents. W- weirdly Semitic looking orphan. And he is. On the ones and twos. We're getting him. He's, just, he's <laughs> getting tanner. He's getting tanner by the day, though. Yeah. How many times did you say you look like Moses? You look yeah. like Muhammad. Oh, thank you. You look like Jesus. That's a new joke I have on my act now. What is? That I look like Muhammad. <laughs> Do you <Yeah>. really? Yeah. <laughs> what? That's amazing. <laughs> Can you tell us the joke? It came jungle? from a, a riff that we did oh, on yeah? a Patreon. So everyone thinks, everyone thinks I'm Muslim. Like, I went to the Middle Eastern Festival in my neighborhood last week. There was a caricature artist. And uh-huh. I said, as I, as I can't get a caricature, he's like, I'm sorry, so it's forbidden for me to draw with my prophet. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> I like that. It's funny, right? That's like also, That's like, good. look at that knowledge. <laughs> I know. Do that in Buffalo. Let me see what happens. Yeah, like, do that joke at the it doesn't work at Jersey Shore. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, it doesn't, doesn't. You it have to not. use that on the next Mango Bay show, <laughs> live show. That's so good. Which, by the way, we are coming at you with, I think yeah. in the fall. Yeah. And I think we're going to be doing it on the West Coast. Yeah, I want to. Do, uh, we were talking about this. I want to. We want to do a little tour, maybe like two, three cities. Yeah. Go to San Diego, go to San Francisco, and just kind of like do a little one, two, three. Yeah. Uh, it'd be fun. I don't even remember this, but we made we made some good like energy, like some you know people at the last one. Listen, people are fucking starving for it on the West Coast. Yeah. yeah. So we're going to be out there. Shout out to the girl uh, two days ago who was gushing. Mango, uh, mango lussy from her mouth. She was so excited. Just bleeding mango lussy. Bleeding mango lussy. Maza. From, I don't know. And it was such a fun, fruity, mango fruity, fruity vibe. Like she came out and I was like, that is a Mango Bay fan. Like, I love that. And she was just like, she was crazy. She was like, Dude, mango. Yeah. Bay. And she was like, obviously self realized yeah. and fun and just wild. And that is actually the demographic of people who really fuck with us is these Dude. are free people. Free. You know what I mean? When you free. meet those people, though, that's when you got to be like, are you in the Patreon? I know, oh, we yeah. always do. No, like, no, we do. I'm we do. too free for that. Yeah. I said free, <laughs> not paying. <laughs> Also, you know who loves, who those people always, always love is Joe. Of course. The free, they get Joe on a deep level. There's like, Listen, the same. they recognized Joe at a show at the Grizzly Pear. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That was weird. Midtown Grizzly Pear, too. Joe's yeah. The floor, dude. <laughs> so crazy because I started at that club. Oh, That's where yeah. I started. I would bark for spots. Oh, yeah? Year one of comedy. Whoa. I would try and bark for, for spots. Is there. that where Fumi met you and he's called you Dog with No Master yeah. when you were barking? I mean, that's when he decided I was a dog with no master. Because <laughs> he saw me. He's like, no, you don't have to bark, man. Just let me dream about you. Japanese roast game is all haikus, you know? I know. Japanese roast battle. We should make that sketch. Yeah. You're like a <laughs> man. You're like a, you're like a <laughs> dog with no master. <laughs> Small dick man enters. How long did the barking? <laughs> how long did the barking last? Because I can't picture you barking for more than you know. One I, hour. I did most I mean, of my like, barking for a guy was, who always barks. Everything I did, I did my I did most of my barking at Broadway Comedy Club. Oh, yeah, that's where I did most of my barking. I didn't mm. bark for very long. I didn't. I mean, I didn't. It, it, it's soul sucking. It's a soul well, that, sucking that, That's experience. where Burnham got his uh, ketamine addiction. It was actually uh, on the barking team. Yeah. Not one person doesn't have a debilitating addiction <laughs> on that fucking street team. <laughs> it is so gnarly. I do not have any kind of addiction. Thank you very much. <laughs> Except for Zins. I do love Zins. You know what I realize is that all my friends do Zin, actually. Do they? Harshal does Zin. Everyone's got like a secret Zin Harshall's thing going. into the Zins? I think I got him into the Zins. You got him into the Zins? Probably. He's a Zin guy. He's I invested Zin. in the stock because I saw all my friends Zinning. Wow. Oh, smart shit. guy. Have you made smart some money guy. off it already? No. 
but maybe someday. So they're Normal owned by people like don't a, make money on the stocks. No, they're, yeah. they're owned by like a Swedish company, Smith, and then yeah, and then they were bought out by uh, uh, what's the big tobacco company? R.J. Reynolds. No, the other Philip one. Philip Morris. Yes, yeah. Philip Morris. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. essentially, if you buy Philip Morris stock, you're, you're investing in Zinn. In Zinn. Yeah. Okay. Is that an ETF or is that you just went straight in? It was just on my regular market, my app, my stupid. Oh yeah, what yeah, is it uh, called? Robin TD, Hood or something? Robin Hood. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Robin Hood. yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, we're it's a losing game. I'm I'm, I'm scared of. My brother keeps calling me now. Uh, my big brother, love him. Um, he's like, you idiot, get on stocks, buy some ETFs or something. I don't, I don't know, bro. I'm a mattress guy. You know, I'm that's so, I, I'm with that. I'm scared of all everything. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I, I mean, are you into crypto? I have uh, two thousand in uh, in um, Ethereum. Okay. Yeah, I don't know what's going on there. I made a Gemini account, put it in. Yeah. Phew, goodbye. I don't Who know. Knows? I have I, no clue. I'll put I'll put like maybe twenty k in a S and P in a couple of weeks. I'll, right. That's my right. concept. I don't know. That's the way to do it if you yeah. don't know anything about investing. Just, but dude, just I, follow I just, the mark. Just do the S and P. I just don't believe funds. in it. I don't believe in it. But if I don't if I don't do anything, I'll just lose money. Because if you just keep your money in like an account. You're just uh, losing. You're, you're losing like seven thousand dollars a year <laughs> with inflation. What are you with inflation. About? Really? Yeah. I just don't see any real way to win as a trader, like a regular yeah. trader. If you're like a big dog, that's when you really make a lot of money, right? right? But like, I have a friend. He he used to fucking. He went and studied. He went to like a mentor, a yeah. trading mentor for a system he like wanted to devise. And I hate it's these like guys. I don't think he even does that shit anymore. Dude, dude. It's, it's white guys in slippers. You know, they come in. That's it is. <laughs> Just sitting in slippers, you know. They've got like the ergonomic chair that they're on with their screens with all the little tickers. You know, some sleep core core in the back, just yeah. like on a couch, uh, you know. Coming Anastasia. Now, what you got to do yeah. is you got to get into Sushi Coin. Yeah. What are the fucking cute name that they have now to make you buy enough to die? Ooh, coin. Ooh, coin. <laughs> These are such cute names for such deep, dark entities. You yeah. Know what I'm <laughs> I mean, I don't know enough about it. I do believe it's probably a. It's probably going to become the more stable currency after a point, right? Well, it is, it's not based on anything, right? It's not. There's no gold standard or silver standard. It's Neither is the U.S. dollar, though. That's exactly oh, right. Yeah, right. And that's that's exactly and the point. And the best thing about Bitcoin is they're not printing more of it. Every yeah. single day. Uh-huh. Yes. Finite amount. Let's just do a comedy show at Fort Knox and kind of <laughs> roam the grounds. Then oh, I'll take this. I'll take that. I don't know, bro. Money is like my least known thing. I'm an idiot on every level, but I'm 33 now. And I'm just like trying. Yeah. I'm like, I can't be 33 and not know anything about money. No, believe like, me, you can. I, I was that. So <laughs> don't advise I don't it. Wanna be, I want to be you in so many other ways. I know. You know I, know like, I know. I know. Like there's so many cool things about you, except this glaring thing where you have no money management. You know, I'm getting better. My, my guy's like the coolest guy. Listen, like I'm getting better. Nine different things. I'm Movie better. knowledge. Just like funny. Didn't you tell us you once know. you spent your last $30 on nunchucks? Yeah. Once? <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't my last 30 oh, okay. Dude, right. everything. Was my first 30. Dude, everything, everything he buys is Asian. You know, be it women or uh, objects. <laughs> I ain't buying no women. I know no human traffic. I had 50 bucks. I got a Singapore whore. I got some chili crunch. And I got some nunchucks. <laughs> <laughs> Ni hao. But it's like, well, the one thing I'm like, dude, we, we got to just learn some money moves, man. I'm just like. I'm, well, I'm starting to because my girlfriend yeah. is extremely financially literate. Yes, yes. And she really wants to like, you know, go take go take the relationship to the next step. So she's yeah. like, you need to get a high yield savings account. You need to open a credit card. <laughs> With you know, mm. good da 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 da, and I've done all the things. You have, yeah. Damn, yeah. I'm getting much better at. It. I don't eat out nearly as much as I used to. I, I'm gonna start. I save yeah. money. I cooking at home, meal prepping. Can we get a finance guy on this show? Oh, dude. That oh, would be yeah. Great. We and then he can go through like your finances. Oh, oh no, 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 no. Not that. like not like numbers. <laughs> oh no. Like what to do? Yeah. We never had a finance guy. Yeah. Well, Fumi's got a podcast about that. Yeah, he does. That's fun. I kind of. I'm terrified of of talking about that. Yeah, stuff. I'm just really bad at it. So I'm really just bad at it. I'm just I'm just the worst finance guy. I, I have money now because I just uh, was in a crack house. For, yeah. You know that was my investment strategy. Was living a crack house, which with was no a rent. good strategy. Actually, it saved my life. Yeah. Uh, it gave me the first amount of money that I've ever had in my life, and I just kind of stayed in that level. But I'm not making super much. I kind of get I get a windfall once in a while on a big gig. Some Indian doctor is like, do 20 minutes and bomb here. And that, I'll give you $8,000 for it. I'm like, okay. But you got a low overhead, so you just stockpile in that. Dude, yeah. we're too funny, and these brown dudes now have too much money, and they're too willing to spend on us yeah. for us not to fucking figure it out. 
Yeah. Okay. All right, yeah, any anyway. good financial advisor types who want to come on Mango Bay, you can hear us now. Come on the pod. Yeah. Okay. I, I feel like y'all would know. We never, we never had this, and I think we're both trying to maybe start doing some. Uh, yeah. Some money moves. Yeah, I'm trying to. I'm trying to. You know move in with my girlfriend and shit and someone told me this buy a house pay it down is that something i don't know pay the whole thing in cash you mean i don't know joe i don't know what what, what does that mean well yeah i mean you end up owing a lot of money to the bank after a 30-year mortgage like right so you buy a house and you pay it it all in cash then you save like what 20 30 40 thousand dollars that doesn't go to the bank you know and then you own the property if you have the cash cool might as well do it if you have the cash Right, that's but I, but to buy it outright would would cost a lot of money, like millions of dollars, even a even a shitty condo, right? If you have it though, if you have it, why yeah. not? Right, okay, yeah. all right, I'll do it. Yeah. Listen, here's the real strategy: <laughs> is find you a financially stable woman who oh, knows about money. Oh, what's up? Okay, that's actually the thing. Like that's what I did. Not in, not even intentionally, yeah. but she's like growing. She's raising me now to be a financially intelligent person. Dude, the Asian girlfriend, she saved every red envelope. And yeah. now she- <laughs> <laughs> Gong Hei Fat Choi, bitch. Uh, <laughs> just, just stacks of red envelopes. What is that? I don't get it. <laughs> it's like Chinese New Year. That's how you get oh. money to you receive <laughs> gifts. <laughs> I remember a long time ago when I took kendo. I took kendo sword yeah. fighting. Yeah, yeah. And to pay, whenever every, every time we had to pay the sensei, it would be in a red envelope, but it had a fish on it because it was like in, in medieval Japan, they would pay them in fish. Yes, yes. So it had a fish on it. <laughs> you, you found these uh, No, he would give us the envelope. He said, no, 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 put it in this. <laughs> like, Here, here's the money, man. Said, no, 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 put it, put it in here. I love that. Yeah. That's classy as fuck. Actually, it's very, it's very Chinese energy. Well, how about I just buy you some fish, bitch? You know? <laughs> you want to be all authentic about it. Like, well, buy you fish coin. Okay. Oh, Salmon coin. That was, I mean, Chinese people, man, have been through some of the hardest shit, you know? Like, you'll hear stories of, like, the guy we all fucked was the guy who had, like, one, grand, one bag of rice, and he was yeah. just banging all the whores in, in the fishing village because he had rice. And, like, how rough was it for y'all? It was for rough, so, I mean, China, It was rough. The level of poor that Chinese have been, the level of poor that Bengalis have been. It's Indians, very, yeah. Indians, it's, like, it's very similar. You know, the level. It's very just similar. Just the level, man. That, my, my dad was saying some shit about this. I was like, kind of like impressed. He was like, you know, I love Mexicans because they were poor too. <laughs> like, this is like a weird thing. It's almost racist, but it's like... Well, it's funny. Naipaul, I think, had said... Um, that for a long time in like the early days of like modern India, right? Yeah. Post independence, modern India, there was a fetishization of the poverty. Sure. That it was a noble thing. Oh, right, right, you right, know right. What I mean, and it was like kind of a cultural marker, but it's like, no, that sucks. I mean, you know? uh, everyone who's been poor knows that it's the stupidest it's thing the ever. It's the stupidest thing. And it's, this is also coming from yeah. a country, a nation, a civilization that was the wealthiest in the world for millennia, you yeah. know, and for a long ass time. Yeah. There was no nation state structure. To be like, we're the richest. Yeah. It just was. It was just like exactly. a resource heavy. Yes. And people were, you know. Exporting. I mean, the Romans were getting very antsy about trading with the ancient Indians because they were. It's killing it. They, they were buying up all the Indian exports. You right. know what I mean? But they weren't exporting really anything to India. So, I mean, India has traditionally like been a very wealthy. Right. Very, very, very wealthy place all the way back to antiquity, to the earliest days of written history. I mean, you know, the fact that the earth is like 7% of water. It's helped the British, you know what I'm saying? They can make some, a couple of good ships and yeah. Tally who? Toragamathama. <laughs> Toragamathama. Dude. You know what? You know what he was not gonna age well is that guy's acting. I'm gonna I hate know. it. In like two years, I'm like, what the fuck did I like about this guy? No chemistry. Thank God Anna Sawai was like there. She like juiced up the whole vibe. You know what's funny is like when people are like, oh wow, that actor, I saw him in real life. He was much shorter than on screen. Yeah. But that guy who plays yeah. uh, whatever, Blackthorn or whatever, yeah, yeah, yeah. and Shogun, like you could tell, nah, this guy's like four feet tall. <laughs> he's four feet? And he's probably gonna be more autistic when you meet him. He's just like, yeah. blah, 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 blah. Come on. how did he win that? Yeah. How did he win that, that role? Anyway, whatever. Blackthorn, one of my least favorite protagonists in a long time. He's actually okay. I, I kind of like him because he's so goofy. He's got like a Scooby Doo quality yeah. to him. He is like the Scooby Doo I mean, of the like show. A dog, you know? Yeah, he is like the Scooby Doo of the show where they're just for some reason they just keep bringing along this goofy white guy. Like, no, no, we must protect this guy, Jin. You know? And then Anna C. Wise character was like, "There's something about him." I'm like, well, "Literally what?" <laughs> yeah, I know that he looks like a dog. <laughs> that he smells like dog shit. <laughs> you, know? you are the hottest woman on planet Earth. No, let me fuck this dog real quick. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Thank you, Bilal. 
Oh, uh, dude, I said, dude, did we talk about this one thing too that I was going to mention? If we ever mentioned Sogan again, I was like, I'm going to make sure we like, talk about this. They had this one thing where um, they uh, they were like, oh, we're going to go to this um, this sensual place to have uh, Toru and I got like laid by the most amazing woman. Yeah, we're talking about that that yeah, scene yeah, yeah. where she brings it. brings the Anna best, the best whore the pleasure whore. palace. Yeah. yeah. We're going to go to this insane pleasure palace. And I remember seeing the scene and being like, y'all just uh, did a reverse scene of a scene y'all already did. Like the set design is the same. Mm -hmm. It was not, it was the same set. I thought the pleasure palace was going to be like this amazing, like, like, whoa, like orgies everywhere. But I'm like, y'all just like uh, 180 the set design of a previous Dojo or something. Hey, that's how that's how the movie business works, man. You yeah. know, it annoyed me. Just hang up a beaded curtain or yeah, something. Boom, whore whore house, house, pleasure, whorehouse. You know, right? blackface of fucking <laughs> white chick. Hey, we're in Turkey now. Yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, before we get out two of the uh, away, uh, Joe, we have a story from you. What's what's going on? Uh, yeah, a I juggly story. Uh, yeah, I celebrated uh, my wife's birthday on Tuesday. Happy birthday, Happy everybody! Birthday. Yeah. yeah, love her. Friend of the pod went to Industry City. It was pretty Ooh, fun. Walked it. around. We wandered into like a like a liquor tasting thing for free. Uh-huh. Yeah, we just were drinking liquor. We saw Bret Hart. Oh, dude, the wrestler Bret the Hitman Hart. Get My the fuck guy. out! So I walked up to this table and they were selling Canadian rum. And I was like, I love Canadian whiskey. It's sweet. So I tasted it. And oh yeah, we're from Calgary and stuff. And I was talking to this guy. Yeah. And I looked to my left and his business partner is fucking Bret Hart. Holy I'm like, shit. one of my faves. One foot away from him. I was, I, I like, my hand started shaking. Like I was freaking out, dude. <laughs> Joe, Joe, I couldn't Joe even say hello to him. Getting all goofy for Bret Hart. <laughs> He's the best there is. The Bret best Hart, there was. the crown jewel of the Hart Whoa. Foundation. Rest in peace, Owen. We love you, man. Rest in peace, Owen. Definitely. Uh, Bret Hart was my favorite. One of my favorites. I was a Shawn Definitely. Michaels. He was like the coolest. Coolest, cool hair. Yeah. Shawn Michaels was super cool to me. Until he made he, pink spandex seem cool, dude. He that's how cool you gotta be. Yeah, because I, I remember like Sajata used to have a huge crush on, on Bret Hart. Bret, she was obsessed with Bret well, Hart. He had the olive skin. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bret Hart was a baddie, and my my uh, I could have gotten. It was a, maybe a time when I could have gotten gay, and Bret Hart would have been the deciding it's factor. True. Uh, but then Owen died and it was just so sad. And yeah, I was, I was straight at that point. So did you talk to Bret Hart? No, no, I couldn't do it. Was Whoa. he wearing pink? No, he's just wearing like a button down shirt. And Dude. Olivia, of course, doesn't know who he is. So we just like, we just like walk away. It's like, oh, you don't even know who that was. It's crazy. Joe, I can't believe you didn't say anything. I can't. I don't like to meet Oscar. celebrities. I mean, that's a big one, too, because that's like a childhood celebrity. Yeah, like the only thing worse would be like Hulk Hogan. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Hulk Hogan, I was Stone Cold, fanatic. Oh, mm. my goodness. Stone Cold and Goldberg randomly. I should love Goldberg, him, too. Goldberg, yeah. You know, he was the, such the, an unusual. He did, the, he did the worm, and I was I just love that he did the worm. Do you know Bret Hart hates Goldberg? Really? Like, in real life? If you, any Bret Hart interview we listen to, he sh- goes to shitting on him in within three seconds. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> Goldberg. <laughs> Goldberg. He said Goldberg doesn't know how to wrestle, and he, Goldberg injured him and stuff. Like that. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Bro, Speak, some great storylines. Some great well, storylines. Speaking of wrestling, did you guys see this movie, Iron Claw? Oh, that oh was no, so no. Is sad. It that movie. It's oh, a it's beautiful movie. It's so oh, good. Yeah, okay, I'll check it out. It's honestly one of the best movies I've seen. Don't in watch ages. it when you're high, though. Three. Or people. watch it when you're high. It's a beautiful movie. This is the fourth recommendation for that movie. It's fucking Jeremy Allen White, Efron, that dude. One. I cannot believe this did not get like yeah. nominations. It, it's did, like, it did. It did. It did. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Because it's, it's one of the best movies I've seen in the past like ten American movies. I saw the other version of that, the autistic version, uh-huh. Peanut Butter Falcon thing. Oh, uh, was that good? That was so good. It was yeah, like you know, it it's good. about like Shia LaBeouf's in it, uh, and he, there's like this like a super you know autistic or you know Down syndrome. Sorry. Um, they're different things. Uh, guy, and he's like this, you know, fighter, and they help him fight and wrestling. It's his dream. Beautiful. Oh, that's amazing. Beautiful movie, dude. That's it, awesome. And, and yeah. Do you know the true story of that family? Yeah, I watched. I then I went and researched. Wait, and did I, you, I, 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 I'm not gonna say. Yeah. Did you know there was another brother? Yes, it's crazy. It was even. Oh, yeah? it's, they made this the, the movie less sad because oh. they thought it'd be. It would bum everyone out. If yeah, they, if they in, in, in like they put the other brother in there. Yeah, it's actually it was actually more of a tragedy. Ah! It's really sad, dude. <laughs> but the, the concept is a, a dad's overzealous energy yeah, he's towards his own ambition, sons. and the whole family is an extension of him and his ambition. And but it's a beautiful movie though because like as sad as it is, it's so sad because it sets you up with all this love yeah. and you're like, God damn, I love this. Yeah. I'm feeling this, you know. And then the and then everything about it, it's it's a period piece, right? It's like the seventies. Yeah. It's like white seventies America, which is like 
kind of a there's a golden yeah. age of it. You know what I mean? Sure. Where it's just like they're in a wrestling family. They do drugs. They party, but they're very wholesome. Too. Right, 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 right. They have these family dinners and their haircuts and they're listening to Rush. You know the music and shit. <laughs> and dude, that song that the one brother plays at the party. Yeah. Do you remember that? That was an amazing scene. I li- yeah. I would rewind that. I go on YouTube sometimes to listen to his rendition of that song. Oh, wow. It's so well, it, good. It's weird how Hollywood has a bunch of these like sort of sad wrestling movies. You have yeah, Wrestler, then you have like Foxcatcher. Yeah. And it's like, what is this weird, like, uh, wrestling is only for, like, depressed, sad people. I mean, people. you know what? You need that, though, right? Yeah. Because the actual, what you see when you go and you're watching it on TV or you go to it's it, wild. it's spectacular. Yeah. It's just Listen, like, brother. Yeah. It's just, it's, it's, this, this it's, fun racism of, like, the Iron Sheik is yeah, gonna... Yeah, there's, like, no vulnerability. You know, it's kill like, the taxi driver. Exactly. You know, and then the, the Asian invasion and swine flus battling. Yeah. The best wrestling movie, Ready to Rumble with David Arquette. Do you uh, yeah, that? I never watched no, that. No, no, that sounds, <laughs> that sounds insane. I, even Glow was good. I love Glow with... Uh, the show was great. I loved it. Mark Barron, perfect casting of all time. Sunita Manni. Sunita Manni. We should have on the pod. I want to. She likes the pod. She likes the pod? Yeah. I, uh, ah! I was in touch with her a couple of years ago about some other stuff. I love Sunita. <laughs> And uh, yeah, she's she's I, to me she's my favorite like South Asian Indian actress. Oh, she's, dude, out she's there killing right it. Now. Her in um the little John video. Oh, I don't even. Have don't you seen this? She was in it. She's uh it, basically the video is them dancing so hard they their butt explodes or something, and they they fuck they blast through windows and stuff. She's one of the people that explodes. Amazing. And I was like, when I saw that, I was like, who is this Indian girl? I love her. <laughs> my girl. I'll show you this video. It's unreal. It's unreal actually. <laughs> Um, and I, so that was the first time I fell in love with her. I, I think she's like amazing. Yeah, she had this like uh, storyline and glow where she was gay for three seconds. Yeah, and they didn't do anything else with it. it was I know like... that was a great show. I was sad it got canceled. <laughs> yeah, it was it was amazing. It was so so good. She was also in a great movie called Evil Eye. It was like an Indian yeah. horror film. Evil Eye. It was Ooh. on. A, I think it's on Prime. Oh yeah, yeah. It's like pretty. It's like a thriller. It's actually more of a thriller. She's badass. She's great, dude. I, I, I think she's wonderful. Um, she's also been like doing the thing, like we have, like you know, just like throwing in the work. Just yes, doing everything and slowly getting rolled and yeah. getting bigger and bigger roles. I'm yes. like, look at you go, girl. I know it. I, know I love it. it. I love it. Um, Joe, you had a brown question for us. Yeah, brown question. Oh, one more it. thing. Let me just finish up the birthday oh, yeah, thing. Um, so I've always killed it with gifts for my wife. Mm. Oh, I've, yeah. I've always had the best gifts and I fucking blew it. What? what you so we were high. Oh, Zempic or something. We were high. <laughs> <laughs> we were high. I ordered her uh, Doc Martin boots, like big chunky boots, like almost like goth chick boots. Yeah, yeah. She would, did not like them at all. She was like, oh, this, I'd have to change my entire wardrobe to wear these. She's like, I'm not, I f-, she's like, I f-, she kind of got upset about it. She's like, I feel like you want me to like... You're turning me into oh, like a yeah. goth chick or something uh, like that. I was like, oh no, she figured it out. <laughs> <laughs> she deletes the order for the gauges. <laughs> <laughs> the studded well, choker. Why'd you buy me like cyanide pills? Oh, that's and... rough, dude. Yeah, that's sorry, rough. I'm it's sorry. tough to buy women clothing. I was like, never again. I said to her, honey, I'm never going to buy you clothes again. So yeah. great. Wait, but let me ask you this. Why'd you buy the... Because I, I would never buy it. I understand Olivia is more like not that at all. It's always turned me on when girls wear like 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 kind of like goth <laughs> boots. <laughs> okay, well I mean so there I it is. So simple. Yeah, I thought Joe. it'd be fun, but I didn't realize she had to change. She thought I was it's like the end of Greece, where I was trying to change your entire personality <laughs> and character. She thought it was. Did you keep him? You're like just for the bedroom. I think. Just right. for the nah, I think we're gonna return him. You got. To. I should just got her a soda stream. Uh, yeah. <laughs> or just like a midsummer dress. I feel like her energy is much more bubbly. You know. Yeah. I yeah. Know. That's um, true. I tried to convince her. I was like, you could be like a, a like a cool producer chick. You oh know? my god, Joe! You tried convincing her. <laughs> <laughs> You're like trying to manage her. We tried different kind of outfits out and stuff like that <laughs> to see if there would be anything that went with these boots. Joe. But babe, you've always liked Slayer. Oh babe. my well, god, you've always liked Metallica. Joe, you, you're a dirty man, Joe. I'm on Olivia's side for sure. <laughs> well, no, but you know what? It's, it's like, very Joe to be. Why did you put these on? You know? But Joe, I, I, you know, the horniness kind of creeped into the good husband. It was too vibe. bad. Yeah. He got too horny for his hub- husbandness. I didn't think. I thought you bought someone. Like, but someone bought me shoes. I'd be like, thanks for the shoes I didn't realize yeah. her whole outfit and whole vibe would have to change yeah right in order for her to wear those yeah but for you it was just like oh you look hot in these yeah and so I but it was it was a you gift what if I just put them underneath the bed we'll forget about them for a while yeah maybe we'll try again in a, a couple years <laughs> it's not anal Joe <laughs> right 
for some reason, though, I'm thinking about this naked girl with Don Martin's art is, is pretty hot to me right now. Just the idea of that. Yeah. I don't oh, know. Yeah. For me, it feels like she escaped from somewhere. That's what I'm like. talking about. <laughs> yeah. Let's do it. From the hacky sack circle. <laughs> from the anime No one's club. playing hacky sack in Doc Martin boots. No, no. My, my goth people in my uh, school were always playing little Doc Martin hacky sack what? energy. That's so weird. We, our, our goth kids were playing hacky sack all the time. I, I thought it was a normal thing. Whoa. And I keep trying to bring it into conversations about goth people. They're like, what are you talking about? I'm like, no, no. They all play hacky sack, right? That's a weird <laughs> Texas guy. Uh, those are like hippies, actually. <laughs> Dude. Dude, the gods were always out in my school, 8 a.m. before school, no matter what the weather. Black hoodie, jeans, Doc Martens playing hacky sack. Smoking cigarettes, right? Smoking cigarettes. Yeah. Mm. But the part of their gothness was like, never wear a jacket, no matter what, how cold it is. That was their Instead fucking of a night. hacky sack, that was like a little bird skull. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Little, I never <laughs> understood the goth pants. With her black the pants, baggy ones? With, yeah, with all the straps and chains hanging, like layers. Oh, yeah. and layer, like, would you, you just go home and like, do you have hooks installed on yeah, your ceiling and you just hang like upside that, down? Dude. Also, they're also goth, <laughs> but they live in the suburbs. Like, pick me up from Claire's at three, mom. Yeah, exactly. I'll be at Spencer's all day. <laughs> Fuck I'm you. I'm gonna be at Claire's getting my clit pierced. <laughs> okay. <laughs> then I'll buy a Yoshi shirt. That's but Yoshi's doing doing like coke or something. Like Jesus Christ, they were crazy, man. Yeah. Well, they, the suburbia was a was a gnarly, terrible thing, you know. In general, it's like a very like subduing force. I have really fucked up thoughts. <laughs> okay, you work at Auntie Anne's Pretzels, literally, okay? at the mall. Literally, literally. What if, what if Mario was getting pegged by his own brother Luigi? <laughs> that's that's a suburban. Like, they're still I nerds. want Bowser. <laughs> I think Bowser's hot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 They would always have these like. I want to fuck a Pokemon. Yeah. That's whole, that's the whole concept. Princess of Peach was a fucking idiot. <laughs> Bowser was Bowser was Bay. <laughs> that would be like the goth approach, I guess, to Mario. Back then, that was like really gnarly, and now it's like not even anything. Yeah. Two to second graders are like, yeah, I'm in a polycule with all the cast of Naruto now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Remember that's every viral man. video back like 12 years ago was so, dude plays the Mario theme on his dick. Yeah. They're just picking a different instrument. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, the, yeah, the, yeah Mario, the Mario theme song was like the biggest viral thing back then. You would just play it no matter what. Yeah, yeah, And people yeah. would go crazy on it. Uh, especially level two. Oh, so, yeah. With his ass hair. He's fiddling his ass hair. Yeah. Anyway, a brown question, Joe. Talk about it. Okay. I think we may have covered this a long, long time ago, but I was at an Indian restaurant yesterday, and there was a white, nerdy white guy, sort of like, like a, looked like a neck beard kind of guy, mm-hmm. like, uh, nice. yeah, in the anime kind of guy with mm, sure. a beautiful woman, like, uh, with the headscarf, like a brown chick. Oh, yeah, the hijab. The hijab? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. So maybe this is like an Arab guy, actually, uh-huh. with the neck beard. But okay. Okay. No, this guy was white. <laughs> okay. And I was like, does, does she smash? Yeah, probably. You Maybe think, do they do do hijabs like hijabis do they do smash full burqa never I, no. but you know what sometimes they do it to hide themselves because they're scared someone might find them out mm. so mm. I've I've seen it you know where yeah I, I know hijabs hijabis do smash I, I, I banged some hijabis uh, have I banged do you have to do like three dates first though or something one was a truly horny person that was did not require that. Um, still maybe one of the t- hottest moments of my life. Did was she this keep woman. it on the, the, the thing? Uh, she, I tried to, but she was like, uh, no, uh, this Pakistani girl, maybe the hottest woman, of, one of the hottest women ever. I met her at a wedding recently in Dallas. Mm. She had like two kids and she would not look me in the eyes. Uh. And of course I wasn't going to break any families up, but I was yeah. like, Hey, <laughs> remember when you got railed? Uh, <laughs> you know, and she you was all these weird. two little kids with one with lazy left eyelids. <laughs> uh-huh. They're like, Mama, who is this? Who is this, Mama? I'm crying in the back. Like, how are you doing? Are you good? You, you're eating well. I'm crying. I can't handle it. It's my my own son. <laughs> lazy left eye. <laughs> <laughs> Could two, two charismatic kids come up and say, Mom, what the fuck? Who the fuck's this bitch? What's up? Oh no. Who the fuck's this bitch? <laughs> one of them's beatboxing. Yeah, one of them's beatboxing. <laughs> Who the fuck's this bitch? <laughs> I do not sound like that. I know. Who the fuck's this bitch? <laughs> Listen, Usama, let's not pretend like everywhere you go, if it's a family function, at least one child will cry at your hands. Okay? <laughs> You made Ryu cry. You I, made that other well, chick. Oh, yeah, I did. I you did, made did. Ryu cry. You made that other chick's. Uh, you you didn't uh, make that kid cry. I said, I said uh, fuck you to this one kid who yeah, was, was like, who like started seven. crying. 
Um, I uh, beat Ryu up. Apparently, I beat, you did. Ryu, I beat up his nephew. Uh, yeah, not true. Not not actually. What true. happened is he hit his own head, and he's yeah. like, "Usama did it." No, listen, they lo- you know they love you. <laughs> I mean, they fucking all are, they're all about Us- Usama, dude. But you know what? I look like a easy guy to hate. Uh, and I look like a kid enough where they're like, well, maybe Barnabas beat him this time yeah. or something. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah, yeah. You should, uh, you should do like a fake beating of me and then like th- them just I watching I think we it. did do that. Didn't we do that? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ryu doesn't fall for that shit though. <laughs> you know? Can you... Ryu's like Loki, also famous on like YouTube. He's like, he's like a very <laughs> wild kid. I, I have deep love for these two kids. I, I, I what? Keep going on the Patreon. Talk about Barnabas. Talk more about Usama loving kids. <laughs> I love kids. Deep, it's deep love for kids. <laughs> When with Joe, yeah. be as Joe does. <laughs> Do as a German does. <laughs> Your mango bitch. <laughs>